filming the other day just does not work for me. Oh, and now my mum's vacuuming. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn the brightness down. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face of products that I've never heard of, or like brands that I've never heard of. And I've actually only seen one other person do this video before, which is Makeup by Jack, um, cause I was just doing like a little search to see if anyone else had done this before me. I've recently got quite a few products um, from brands that I've been very kindly sent. Um, and like, this is no offense to the brands or anything, but some of these brands I haven't heard of before and they're like very new to me and I thought it'd be quite interesting and fun to test them in a video because some of you guys might not have heard of them before either. A lot of you guys keep commenting in my videos like that my hair colour changes in every video. That's because every time I wash my hair, um, the colour kind of fades and it's almost back to like blonde now. The top of it is still a little bit like pink and like warm where my roots are. Let me know what I should do with my hair next. Should I like get a cut? Should I do it a different colour? Um, what do you think? Let me know. Also, make sure if you're new here and if you want to be nice to me to give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps me out, I think. I, I think it does. The videos that where I have been asking you guys to thumbs up the videos, I found that they've actually done really well. And so I have a feeling it's something to do with like YouTube's algorithm where like if you get more thumbs up, it like pushes your video out to more people. I don't really know, but it seems to be helping, so I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> okay, right, let's move you a bit closer and let's get some makeup on my face. I look tired today. The first thing I have is by a brand called, it's either Me My or Me Me, Memi, M-E-M-I. And I recently got a mystery package through from this brand um, with a lot of their stuff. So there's quite a lot of this featured in um, this video. And I have to say, I've never heard of it before. Like again, no offense to the brands in this video, um, but I apparently live under a rock. This says it's a perfecting radiance primer. So this is what it looks like. It's in like a silver packet and it has got a pump, which I appreciate. Um, and it just says, wait, what does it say? A lightweight gel-based perfector that gives a skin sk uh, that gives skin a seamless, soft, focused glow. Fine lines and large pores appear instantly reduced. Well, that's good because that's what I need. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Everyone, please just ignore my severely chipped nails. Um, I will fix them at some point, but I thought filming was more important. <laughs> okay, so it's definitely a glowy kind of primer and it does feel like it's quite tacky, which I like. Oh, it does feel very sticky. I like a sticky primer. It did say that it was kind of like pore minimizing. Um, I don't, I feel, okay, I feel kind of bad saying this, but I feel like it kind of emphasized my pores. However, it does feel nice and like tacky um, and as if my foundation will sit nicely on top of it. Like my face feels more moisturized, but let me just give you a little close up. I don't know, I feel like you can still see all of my pores. I'm just a very pory person. For my makeup sponge, um, I got this sponge from Sport FX and I have kind of heard of this brand before but I didn't actually realise it was an actual brand. I've seen people testing like Sports Direct makeup and I think this is sold in Sports Direct. Um, but yeah, it's an actual brand called Sport FX and this is the Blend and Go Makeup Blending Sponge and it's got a little like price thing on the box that says it's $4.99. Um, and this is a really interesting little sponge. I did uh, soak it under water to like dampen it and it is very very soft and squishy like it feels really nice Okay, so I searched through my whole like foundation drawer and the only thing I had in there I think I have used this once before but I still am completely like uneducated about this brand I think the brand is called CLE. This is the radiant skin CCC cream not just CC CCC cream, um, micro capsule technology, broad spectrum SPF 45, um, and this is in the shade light. I have a feeling this is gonna be too dark. When it comes out, it's kind of this creamy, oh God, oh God, I need to shake it. It's literally just, oh, okay, wait, let me wipe that off. It's a white color, and then when you put it on your face and actually blend it out, um, it's got all these little kind of micro uh, pigment bead things in it and they kind of burst and it goes to a more beige kind of color. You see what I mean? That's so crazy, like look, when I blend this bit in, 
look at that. You know what? This might be okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to try and get a bit more coverage. Burst, beads, burst. There we go. This is extremely dewy to the point where my face kind of just looks wet. Um, so if you have dry skin, I think you will love this. Oh, and I love the sponge. It's really nice, like really squishy, really nice feeling. It blended it out really nicely. Um, I'm definitely gonna be using that a lot more and it's only $4.99, so get yourself down to Sports Direct. For my concealer, I have a brand called Sarah Hill. I think you can get this on Cult Beauty and this is the Little Pop Concealer. Um, this is in the shade Milk Bottle, but... Let me just show you guys what their idea of milk bottle is. For me, my idea of milk bottle is the color of this box. And for them, <laughs> their idea of milk bottle is this color. Like, I don't know, I swatched it on my hand and it does seem like I will be able to get away with it, but it's definitely not that light. Like, in compared to my other concealers that I have, um, it's not the lightest, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm using the other side of the sponge just to blend this in. Well, that blends easily. Wow, look at that. Sometimes I don't like these types of concealers because they don't normally blend that nicely. Um, because they're kind of like hard and in solid form. I don't know whether it's because my base is so glowy, but that's blended really nice. I think this one is a little bit more pricey. It really sucks that a lot of this stuff isn't drugstore because like, I like to do a lot of cheap makeup, but obviously I've heard of pretty much every drugstore brand and a lot of these indie brands tend to be a little bit more um, higher on the price range. That concealer is really nice. By the way, I'll link everything down below. So if you guys want to like have a look at any of these products online and see all the prices and everything, everything will be linked in the description box. I have quite a few palettes by a brand called La Rock. Looks like this. I had a little palette from them, which I got on eBay and I thought it was just like a random eBay brand um, and I did that in my like testing eBay makeup video. I'm gonna use their eight color contour palette powder. It looks really similar to the NYX one. What the hell? It's the only thing that I have that's kind of like setting powder. Oh my god. They rattle in there so much. So I'm taking this shade down here from the contour palette and I'm just gonna use this to set my under eyes. That's absolutely fine. I mean, it's done the job, it's set it into place. So it is a little bit cakey, but it's definitely like brightened up my under eyes and set them into place. I am just gonna cheat a tiny bit and set the rest of my face using my Revlon Color Stay powder because it is Mother's Day today. My family is coming around later and I kind of want like my base makeup to look okay, if you get what I mean. They also sent this brush set, which I actually have already. Um, I love these brushes. It's basically that kind of standard set that comes with four buffing brushes and four kind of concealer brushes. You could use them as eyeshadow brushes, but they're quite like dense. Um, I love this brush set. I'm not gonna open another one because again, I already have this and I'm probably gonna put it in a giveaway, but it's really good and really cheap. By Me My Me Me. I have the Soleil Me Up bronzer and this is in the shade Soft Sand. Oh my God, why can I not open this? So this is what the bronzer looks like. Um, it's quite warm. Oh wait, I haven't even contoured my face yet. What am I doing? I'm still using the Lorac Powder Contour Kit and I'm taking this shade down here. And it is quite warm. Why did that side come out so much more pigmented? What the heck? But I'm just using some of that light powder that I used under my eyes. And I'm just gonna go underneath it to kind of Clean it up a little bit. I'm not that great at contouring, and for me personally, this is a little bit dark for my skin tone, um, so it's a little bit tricky to work with, but I think if you did have like a medium skin tone, these colors would be perfect for you. And then using the bronzer that I just spoke about a minute ago. I'm scared that this is gonna be too orange. So that I don't go too heavy with it. I was scared it was gonna be like way too warm. But you know what, it's not too bad. It's not like my favorite bronzer ever. Um, my Kiko bronzer still beats this and I feel like that one blends a little bit easier, but I mean, it doesn't look bad. I've got two blushes and I don't know which one to use. I've got one which is by Mimi, Mimi, whatever it's called. This blush is in Temptation. That is a really nice blush color. I have another blush which is by a brand called Paul and Joe. This one 
Looks like it's gonna be a little bit too bright for me. It's the 06 Powder Blush by Paul and Joe, and then it goes in this like magnetic compact, which is so cute. You know what, if you go with a very light hand and don't touch the like red side, it's nice. Um, so that is nice, and it's in a gorgeous little compact thing. Um, so I do like it, but I do want to test the other one as well, so. This one is more pigmented. That's pretty. Next up is the highlighter. This is the Mimi Radiance Highlighter in Glow Up. And this is what it looks like. It looks so, so nice. Oh my god. This is stunning. Oh my god. That highlighter literally gets like a 10 out of 10. It gives your skin like that really like wet looking glow. If you're into your natural highlighters, this one is definitely not for you because it's very intense, but it's so, so pretty. I'm just gonna put some of this on my brow bone and down my nose. I have just realized the only thing I don't have is an eyebrow product. Like I don't have any eyebrow products from brands that I haven't heard of. So I think what I'm gonna do is go and do my eyebrows off camera. So my brows are done. I think I accidentally filled them a bit too dark. For my eyeshadow, the palette that I have by Mimi is the 12 Eyeshadow Millennial Palette. And this looks, oh my God, I've already stabbed it with a brush. Doesn't this really remind you of like the Tarte eyeshadow palettes? I've just read the names and they're so funny. Nudist, Boss Bitch, In Check, 90s Baby, Finesse, Iconic, All Ass, One Love, Stacey's Mum, Wavy, Focus, and It's a Vibe. Okay, I'm taking the shade All Ass, which is um this one, and I'm just gonna run that like kind of through my crease. Okay, so it's very like a subtle transition shade. And then taking the shade called Finesse, which is this one here. It's another one of the matte colours. And again, I'm just gonna run that through my crease. The shade comes out a little bit lighter than it appears in the pan, but you know what? I'm not mad at it. And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade In Check, which is this warm brown here. So I'm gonna put this on the outer part of my eye. At the moment, I'm literally just placing it there. Okay, so now that I've placed that, and then taking my blending brush again, and I'm just gonna blend that together. Okay, that's nice. Um, I'm just gonna run a little bit of this shade along my lower lash line. That was a lot of that shade. I don't wanna go too wild, otherwise my grandparents are gonna be like, whoa, so what has happened to you? Let's try taking a little bit of Boss Bitch. This one is more of a soft, rose gold sort of colour, which is really smooth, like it's not chunky. And then taking the shade underneath, which is called Iconic, this one is slightly more bronzy, and it looks a bit more like a foil kind of colour. I'm just gonna put a bit of that like over the top, just to make it even more intense. Oh yes, shimmer eyeshadows just work so much better with your finger. Look, look how shiny that is, can you see that? Okay, so I've just put that on the first half of my eyelid. Um, I'm then going back in with the shade In Check, which is the one that I used in my outer corners, and I'm just gonna add like a little bit more of this. And then I'm taking a tiny bit of this shade down here called Wavy, which is an even darker brown. I'm just taking a little bit of this on my brush. Again, I'm just adding that onto the outer corner. And then again, I'm just gonna very lightly blend over those edges. Next up, I'm taking the shade Stacey's Mum, which is the white shimmer, and I'm just gonna put this on my inner corners. Wow, that's a blinding inner corner shade. Okay, so this is the Lash to Lash Mascara, and then we just have the Sarah Hill Luxury Mascara, so I'm gonna look at the brushes. Ooh, that's a nice looking brush. And the Sarah Hill one is also a natural bristle one. Let's just try both of them. I'm doing the Sarah Hill one on this side. Hmm, okay. That's really not doing it for me. Let's try another layer. Okay, this is a very, very, very natural mascara. So I'm going in with the Mimi Lash to Lash because this looks a bit more volumizing. I have to say I'm not loving this mascara. Neither of these mascaras are really doing it for me. How did I get that in my hair? It's not as like voluminous as I hoped. I've got loads of lip products by a brand called Phase Zero. They've got lip gloss. Lip gloss, liquid lipstick, and a lip topper. Oh my god, look at that. It smells like a mini milk. Do you guys remember mini milks? 
It smells like the vanilla mini milk, like literally 100% like it. Whoa, it's like this bluey pink iridescent lip topper. That is insane. It's just full of like pinky blue glitter. That one is called Hollow Lip. The other one is called Prosecco Kiss. Can you see those there? Oh wow, this lip gloss, this is in the shade, what shade are you? Baby Pink. It smells like a digestive biscuit. <laughs> It's not a sticky gloss, like, in the slightest. It's just really comfortable. That is a really nice lip gloss, but I do want to try one of the matte liquid lipsticks. I'm going to go for the shade Chai Latte. Oh, this goes really nicely with the eyes. It feels really, really moussey, which I like. This reminds me so much of Jeffree Star Hunty. And what the hell, it feels so comfortable. It's matte, but it's not like drying at all. So this is the finished look. I really like it. I feel like I've discovered some really nice new products here. I don't know if you can see like with my skin, how the foundation is starting to like sink in already. I mean, it still looks quite nice, but I just, I can tell already that it's gonna get oily very fast. So that is it from me. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I definitely did. I love trying new makeup. Like it's just so fun. Um, so if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it so much if you would subscribe by pressing the little button down there, turn on my notifica notifications, <laughs> my notifications. Um, also, like I said, all the products will be linked down below. Uh, and yeah, that's it from me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.